friends, this is Spaceless and welcome back to a new video. This is going to be a special video because this is going to be another video about the SFS 1.5 update peaks and leaks. So this video is in continuation with my previous video on the update. So if you haven't watched that video, I want you to go and watch it first because this video doesn't feature the peaks and leaks that were in that video. So if you want the complete list of peaks and leaks then you have to watch both the videos so the link is in the top right corner and in the description let's go and watch that first are you back no i'm not kidding just go and watch it first seriously are you back have you watched the video good now let's continue the new SFS update, update 1.5 is just around the corner and I thought about giving you guys some more leaks and peaks so that you guys are well prepared for the update and you know what's coming because it's gonna be awesome. So let us begin with the video. So first up we have the Saturn 5 style parts and these parts have skins and textures specific to the Saturn 5 rocket. And these parts will be really helpful for anyone who wants to recreate the Apollo launches, the Saturn launches or rebuild the Saturn V, Saturn 1, the Saturn family and all that. And this will most likely be a part of the Apollo skin pack which includes the skin for all the fuel tanks and the engines which means we have now the F1 engines, the J2 engines and the skins for all that. So this will be a part of the Apollo skin pack which will be a separate paid skin pack. We also have now skins for all the parts and as you can see here these are just a few of the many parts and we see here that the grey skin and the grey texture have been added to the parts of all sizes and so have these skins and these textures because they were earlier only for the 4 whites or the 6 whites but now they have been available for every part which is really cool and awesome because now we can diversify our rockets much more. And this here is a new dark UI which makes the dark buttons pop out even more and I love the way how the game blurs behind these buttons because this gives these buttons even more depth and even more significance now that the game actually blurs behind them. So this is our all new reworked and remodeled state separator. This is a state separator in the game view which looks really really cool and as you can see here that the stage separator has new skins and new textures so it really makes them significant as an appearance thing and this is in the build menu so yeah it's really cool and now we have a reworked and renewed transfer orbits which make the orbital transfers very quick and very easy and this is a comparison of the circular and the elliptical orbits that we have in the game and these are the new elliptical orbits for the planets around the sun. And this here is a pre-launch checklist which is going to be really helpful for the beginners. So now the nozzle of this engine has been elongated to make it look more elegant. And this is a new remodeled Hawk engine to make it look more robust. This is their side by side comparison as new engines. This we have now the Frontier engine which has also been reworked and it looks awesome like really really awesome and this is the new Titan engine the new and reworked Titan engine which has been remodeled to make it look more realistic and this is how it was changed. And this here is the Hawk engine on the Falcon 1 rocket. Also, we now have separate components of the velocity when we are near the surface and also we now have the fuel percentages on the top right corner instead of the fuel tanks. These are just a few of the new parts which have been laid side by side. And this is the new rearrange by drag feature which works on the save menu so it helps us to rearrange our saves in a specific order. And this, I don't even know what this is and I don't know why it's in the video so it just is, it just exists. 
and this is the new multi select feature which allows us to select multiple paths at the same time This is the multi select feature as we're going to see this in the game menu and the build menu So these are the possible skins for the side cones And this is the Gemini rocket made using the new skins This is how the new skins and texture menu works in the game And this is how you can make use of the multi select feature and the skin menu at the same time to give yourself a better looking rocket. And in this update we also have a new background. So as you can see now that the stars in the background actually twinkle. They twinkle. Wow, it's really pretty. I have to say it's really nice. So these are some of the parts that we all can create ourselves using the new shape editor tool and this is how this new tool works And this here is a new procedural detail feature which means that we can get more and more details as we zoom into a planet. This is the new free navigation feature and what this allows us to do is that we can leave our rocket and move around in the game menu and as you can see right now we cannot do this because our pov is fixed on our own rocket so we cannot move around in the game view also we have an improvement to the adaption feature so which basically means that now only the rocket part that has been selected adapts to the other parts and the other parts do not adapt to the selected rocket part So this update also affects the fairings as well and what you see now is that the new fairings adapt to each other in the same way as we have parts adapting to each other which means that the fairing selected adapts and not the other fairings of the grid. And now we have some confirmations by the game's main developer Steph Moroyna.
just if you guys were wondering this is why the update has taken so long And now we have the answer to the question which is when is the update going to be released So it looks like we still have a month before we can start playing the update 1.5 of this awesome game So this looks like we're in the end of the video and before you guys leave I would like to tell you guys to join the update peaks and leaks server because this is where I got all these images from all these gifs from gifs gifs whatever So I get all my stuff from this server and the joint link to the server is in the description below. And also before going I want you guys to consider subscribing to my channel and also liking this video and sharing it with your friends because you don't want your friends to miss out on this huge game this huge update. And also I would like to tell you guys that I am hoping for 1000 subscribers before the end of this year. Yes. 1000 subscribers before January 2020 and I know this is a big number as per my previous standards but we can do it together you guys can do it and we can do it together so just hit subscribe if you want to because it will really really help me and you know what else helps me watch time so I hope that you watch this video through and through and I'll meet you in the next one bye